All right, take three. Monster HP 50%, monster damage 50%, malaise always ticks, merchandise categories disabled, more infected food, potions don't cleanse, no attack indicators, mandatory YOLO, regular items plus plus, curse chest 15, curse 20 health flask max, minor forge disabled, maskers added, no recycling, no starting go, mandatory distillery, boss's last gift, monster's last gift, let's go. Is there a Goku skin? Legendary warrior, I think that's Goku. Then give me, um, give me Super Saiyan Blue. Is Super Saiyan Blue this color? I didn't watch Super. I got a little worried about the uh, animation. This is kind of rough. And I guess that's like not really something you should be worried about when it comes to your anime, unless it's that Ragnarok anime. Okay. We might have a game. I'm very good at Gwen. Gwen is like my best top laner. Don't ask me to play anything else. Though. I used to be able to play Alawi, and now it feels awful to play Alawi. It's like, if I'm gonna do that, I may as well play literally any other champion in the top lane. <laughs> so I always make these League of Legends references, and when we were at VidCon, every League reference I made went over everybody's head. I felt like it's a boomer game. Like, I may as well be talking about Mario 64 to the kids in the crowd. If it wasn't Minecraft or Roblox, it may as well not even existed. Ooh, the snips. This is good weapon for cutting rats in half like the cats do. I don't know if any of you all have um, cats at home and hopefully this isn't like too not safe for life, but I remember I used to have a co-worker that always used to talk about how the cats would bring mice to her. But it wasn't just the mouse. The way how the cat brought the mouse to the owner was it was always m like mice booties. Like the cat would eat just the, the top half of the mouse. <laughs> I'm sorry if this gets graphic. And the only thing that the cat leaves for the owner is the butt. I, if I look at anything that's cat psychology, it's supposed to be that the cat brings you the the catch because it wants to feed you because it thinks of you as a big cat. But I think it's a little toxic if the cat is only bringing you the butt cheek. For all my boomers in the chat who remember Cow and Chicken, in that cartoon, Cow and Chicken would eat pork butts and like it's served on a on a dish. Same thing. You'll never understand cat logic. Mine are fairly easy to understand. Um, so for example, I was in the shower today and I heard a little bit of a rumbling in the kitchen. Um, so from the rumbling, I knew that there's a 99% chance that River is on the kitchen counter. She jumped up onto this wooden chair that we have. It's like bar stools. And it's like really loud. Um, and then she jumped on the counter because she's looking for free food, free meals. Um, so I have to get out of the shower because it's uh, takeout. It's like fried rice and some other stuff. And I don't know if uh, cats should be eating fried rice and general sow chicken. But I will tell you she will if she has the option. She's very good at finding teriyaki chicken rotisserie chicken like you can't hide it from her oh wow this is like really good in 20 bc you can circumvent the higher hp by just sniffing them that's incredible it doesn't really help you on bosses i think this is still like super potent do you have a good cat and an evil one not really i say they're both good cats what we really have is one that's like super affectionate and one that's like River will literally like nuzzle into you if you're on the floor or something. And she'll do it so much she starts to like eat your hair. It's like she's not close enough. So now she has to vore you a little bit just to make more space. Buster doesn't do that kind of stuff. Buster will like accept pats, but then like swat at you because it's kind of fun. He's not doing it because he's like overstimulated or something. I think he's doing it purely because it's entertaining. On the V.B channel, all I talk about is League of Legends and cats. Backpack this just in case. We gotta think about wins. 
Like the old V.me would skip the baseball bat because I've played it too many times. But 20 BC doesn't care about that. Dude, oh, that's not the best thing to aggro there. It seems as though I don't get it off of leeches. Which is, I guess, fair, because obviously the leech is infinite supply, so you could maybe, like, run a leech over to an elite or something like that. Probably need this for bosses. I feel like I'm unusually safe right now. B, why aren't you using the baseball bat with the root grenade? Um, remember how I said that I didn't want the baseball bat because I play it too much? That's why I'm not using it with my, uh, root grenade. Um, the small green worms don't count towards kill streak. Interestingly enough, the legendary version of scissors gives you like double the kill streak. It's like a really weird legendary. Um, it'd be helpful in 20 BC where you get hit so much. What are you doing here? That's my super cuts. Shout out to you if you are a uh, super cuts employee. Holding it down for all the folks that can't find a barber shop because they live in like the suburbs. <laughs> so this was actually a good map. If I could get something like an ice armor, I think I'd be actually content with what I have. The root grenade, I think I'll take it over the Telluric because I don't think the Telluric is going to do a ton on this map coming up. But, I mean, we have really low malaise right now. Full HP. This is the best that we have been all night. I don't think I need this. Is this weird? Killer instinct. So if I ever find the ice armor, it should be really easy to activate. And then I just need to fight a boss. Um, but yeah. The cards IRL. You need three copies of them. All three of them are secret rares. So it becomes, like, ridiculously expensive. And then they ban the card and or like limit it down to one. And then you have to sell off your old copies. So then you lost money. Like unless the deck is a tournament winner, nine times out of 10, you are losing money. Unless you like liquidate. It was always the worst part about Yu-Gi-Oh is when you're behind on liquidate. Um, I believe my eBay account is actually still in good standing. That's how you know that you're a true Yu-Gi-Oh player is if you have an eBay account and or like a TCG player account, because I think they also buy cards at this point. But again, that only goes so far. Really. I was trying to do this the safest way I could. I think I'm in good shape. We just have to like go a little faster. Yo, get snipped by right, ice armor. <laughs> um, I believe it replaces Root Grenade. Now, it doesn't last forever. I'm hoping with the Killer Instinct, we should have a lot of cooldown reduction. So it's already down to 13. Dude, challenge me! eBay is not a big thing in my country, but it's always checked out the market value. Yeah, it stonks. That's the other, like... Oh my god, you all are gonna get me into it. Wow, that was much better than Death Orb. <laughs> I don't know if it's still the case. Um, I'm sure it is because I'm sure the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is exactly the same as it always been. Um, but there was a time where we would go to locals and we always had that one guy. That one guy who like if you see little kids at the locals, that one guy is always like camping the little children to trade them for any good cards they got out of packs. And, like, the guy would be in there with, like, 10 binders. Every binder separated by dollar value. So this is my crap binder. Everything in there is only a dollar. That's the binder I pull out for children. And so when they get good cards, I walk over and I come home with 500 bucks worth of stuff. I gave them only 50. And it, they, like, gaslight a little bit, too. Where it's like, okay, I know you've been looking for this card a little bit. I only have a couple left though, but if you get them now, you're gonna have a full playset. 
and no one else at the playground has a full playset. I promise you. First legendary. Um, double the speed, double the pogs. We'll try it. Oh, we got the hookup. Have I played Halls of Torment? I have. Um, I actually think in terms of all of the survivors likes out there, I would say Halls of Torment is probably in my top five. Oh my god, I didn't see that. It's unfortunate. I didn't even pop my ice armor either. I thought I was 100% safe. Yeah, I think that one is actually an extremely good one. Almost got hit again. I think you do have to like the aesthetic though, because I'm sure if you don't care for the graphics, it's not going to be super entertaining. But a lot of survivors likes are like that, where it's like, if you don't like the graphics of it, you're not going to enjoy it. Which is funny to say, because Vampire Survivors has no graphics at all. But that's literally the point. Oh, wow. Completely wasted. Yeah, a lot of these games are even on itch.io. Vampire Survivors, though, is on mobile. I saw that when we uh, were on the plane. So that was really cool. It's hard to play with a touchscreen, in my opinion. I'm sure there's people that do it. But I, uh, I don't think I'm one of those people. I think I need an actual controller. The only thing I can play on a touchpad is anime girl rhythm games. Give me one of those and I'm set for life. I like Hollow Cure better. Hollow Cure is not out yet, right? It's still um, a demo. Yo, happy birthday? No! Get the health. I feel like I play so many games, you all don't even know. Yeah, I, I'm not like a Osu Smurf or something. But I actually really enjoy mobile rhythm games. I only just now got my first one, like literally a month ago. So whenever I play them, it's just I went over to my buddy's house and he shoved an anime girl rhythm game in my hands. True story. Gotta use the ice armor more often. Unlucky. All right, you have to go. Because this thing is actually in my way the entire time. Been thinking about getting a Steam Deck by the end of the year. What's the price on a Steam Deck, everybody? I've never actually, like, inquired. I feel like I don't want a Steam Deck because then I'm just playing more PC games. Like, I have a Switch and a tablet. Don't I want to play stuff that's not on PC? Uh, what about Groove Coaster? So, we had an arcade near us that we used to go to that had an arcade cabinet for Groove Coaster. And whenever we went there, I will always want to go to Groove Coaster. But like, we gotta play more than just that, right? Yeah, I had a um an account too for the arcade cabinet. It's like the place that I went to would sell the, um whatever the publisher of that game, they have cards. That allow you to, like, make an account and keep track of your progress. Maybe that's, like, a normal thing for arcades nowadays, but I, I had no idea that existed. So I still have that card. It's in the other room. Might even be in my wallet. Yo! Holy crap! The dream triple scrolls just lying next to each other? Absolutely free? No contest? Not a single monster blocking them? All right, so I have a little bit of a dilemma here. If I use the baseball bat against the conjunctivius, what do I have to get rid of when it comes to boss's last gift? I feel like if I just use baseball bat, that means I'm allowed to get rid of the baseball bat, which I feel like is cheating. If I had the chance to kill the boss with the bat, I should be allowed to call it the one that gets replace remember i feel like just replacing the backpack is like losing the value it's a lot of malaise 
crap, there's a freaking challenge rift too. Um, I feel like just replacing the baseball bat with boss's last gift is like a little bit of circumventing the system. But if I kill the boss with it, it's got to be legal. I think it's legal. If we win with just the baseball bat, we can swap it for boss's last gift. If we do not win with it and I swap back to my scissors because it's doing no damage, then we got to get rid of the scissors. Oh my god, I wasn't in range, I guess. I'm like not critting at all. <laughs> One crit. Is that really worth it? Look at this malaise. Okay. Give me some more like Buster Rhymes. Three crits. World record. Four? Five? Crap, I should have parried. Get back here. This is worth. I can keep my scissors. Oh my god. I got hit so much just then. Alright, so rip legendary. But maybe that's okay. You know what? I did that on purpose. Give me a parry. Pray that that was worth it. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I am actually in tears right now. You do die when it's in the backpack, by the way. Just to say that. Uh, so if I go graveyard, graveyard has the fastest chance for a weapon to show up because there's like two sewers that you drop down in. I could also take the ice armor to try to avoid dying, but that means we have to get rid of death orb. The other, the other thing I'm trying to think of for graveyard is like, it's a long, not really a hallway. It's like a, a horizon. And if I can just like toss the death orb down it, maybe I won't have to have ice armor to survive. Maybe. Last gift, Curse Sword, when I was actually doing extremely well, might be an issue. Okay, so here's our first chance. Scary. All right, weapon. Not a weapon. You know what? I'm going to take that. Um, This is a chest, so this could be a weapon. I actually can't see what- Oh my god, I just wasted that! I'm dead! Alright, rare, not dead. Freaking rat city. Okay, give me a weapon. <laughs> Terrible positioning. Give me a rat. Give me a parry. No, 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 Give me a parry. All right. Second weapon chance. Okay. All right, we're back in the game. <laughs> what a world. Oh my god, it just took 9 billion damage. I guess I'm glad that happened now <laughs> and not earlier. Mm-hmm. We're back in the game. 
Oh, baby. Such a good map for scissors. Look at that. We're sniffing. I probably shouldn't be killing all these. Because if the... Really? If I need these for the curse, it could be an issue. Something's transforming. Why did the door close? What happened to my parry? Wait, I'm not getting any parries. Oh, get snipped. All right. Funny enough, Olivia is actually being really, really good. Which makes me not want to get rid of her. We don't do any poison synergy at all, though. I had a meeting today. Um, like a YouTube-related me meeting. And I mentioned to the people who I uh, had a meeting with that for some reason... I don't know why. Um, but... You can look at popular search terms on YouTube by just using autofill. You can assume that whatever is in autofill is what people are actually searching for. And it goes v.me, v.me dead cells, v.me tier list, v.me Hades. That is the number four search term for me with my name. And I do not post nearly that much Hades stuff. So when Hades 2 rolls around, I think I need to play it a lot. I think someone out there wants to see it. I didn't get the parry off fast enough. There's the food. Um, I was actually planning to parry that cannibal, but my finger didn't go up there fast enough. Basically like a drive impact. I couldn't react because I'm over 30 years old. Legendary. Legendary. Another skill? Thanks for all the content. V really helps keep the game fresh for me and return to it every few days. My pleasure. I'll let the devs know that you said that. Yeah, I've been trying to also think about, like, how to do this for other roguelikes that we play. Um, so, it's gonna be... Ashless Scent. Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. That's gonna be a big one for me. Now that Neon Echo's dead. Okay, so the curse is probably behind this. Let's try to leave stuff if possible. I think that cannibal's transforming. It's very unfortunate. Okay, bound the curse. A lot of stuff. Maybe not 15 worth. This is so not smart. I don't want to waste these. 13. Flawless. Backpack it for now. More scissors. 40%. But do we have... No, we don't have victim slow, but we didn't have it before. So that means we shouldn't miss it. Ideally, like, the mentality you should have is if you didn't have it in the first place, you shouldn't miss it when you don't get it. That gives you a much better mentality. Like, if someone told you that they found $100 outside of the parking lot of the store that you literally just came from, you, you really shouldn't be upset that they found the $100 and you didn't. Because it wasn't your 100 in the first place. Like, that's it? Just three? That's all they could give me? Please be an easy monster. Please don't be something I have to actually work at.
Wait, what? How did I mess that up? I don't know how I messed that up. That was the exact same thing. And it just fizzled. Did not get a V.60. And I think I didn't pick up the baguette that was on the map, I think. And that could be a problem, but we'll be fine. Bank? I should not need the bank. What could I possibly want from here? I feel like everything I have is actually fine. Like, I could win with a level 40 scissor. 40% 40 bonus scissor. If we get a skill that's pumped up, is it really better than these two? A level 14 weapon, food shop as well. We do have the snips, so that should help me kill gold gorgers. We just have to find three monsters, kill them, and then do a curse again. Yeah, the gold. We're sitting at 2,500, so we technically have enough to do whatever we want on this map. The malaise is going to be freaking nasty. It's going to go burr. I did not kill those. That is kind of bad. I wonder if there's a way to, like, tell what the map generation is on this map. I just guessed. <laughs> I had no idea this was up here. There's nothing to suggest that this should be up here. I thought maybe it was to do with the teleport. Like, there's a teleport early in the tunnel. That means it can't be the curse because the teleport should be after the curse. But if I go over here, is there going to be two teleports? No. It is an empty door with nothing in it, which completely defeats my um, hypothesis. Walk it out. Walk it out. Oh, uh, unlucky. A little scary. Oh my god, the range on that. All right, good snip. Don't even think about it. You're dead. It's not good. Never mind. I kill it anyway. There we go. That's what we like to see with a good, perfect snipper clip after. That's not good. Oh my god. Why'd they go behind me? All right, so we're a little behind on damage, I think. Even though this thing does 40% bonus damage. So let us not do this yet. We need more scrolls. Yeah, the lag hit is like super weird. But I think what's actually happening is that you are already going to take damage. Um, and the game just forgot what that looks like. And or like you took a hit and the game really wants you to know that you took a hit. So it's, it's there to just make you think about it for a little while. It's like when you have a dog that peed on the carpet and you're like old school grandma told you that you like put the dog's nose in the pee. <laughs> it's the same thing for the game. <laughs> I, I don't know what the the reasoning is behind it, but that's <laughs> what it was <laughs> back in my day. That's <laughs> how you potty trained the dog. I'm like crying over here. I don't know why that's so funny to me. What's this? Oh my god, a toothpick for free? Uh, como se dice for free in Espanol? Or Portuguese. I think we have more Portuguese speakers in chat than uh, Spanish speakers. I gotta hop on my Duolingo. Gene posts on Twitter that he wants to go to Brazil. He wants to be big in Brazil. And the only way to do that is you gotta speak Portuguese at least like a little bit. If this is a mimic death orb, I think this is actually better. No, if it's a mimic giant whistle, I think that is possibly better than the death orb. Maybe the Tolori. Not a mimic. Uh, 
porno de nero. So how do you pronounce the C with the little cattail on it? I think we've had this conversation before and I don't think anyone actually answered me because I probably offended multiple people by calling it a C with a little cattail. Is it like a cha sound? It's an S? Like a hiss? So, grasa? I feel like grasa would mean thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm not the Portuguese expert, but if I were on Jeopardy and they asked me to translate that, I would say that's thank you, not like for free. That's just saying free, thank you. Okay, that makes sense. Unlucky. Karma. My malaise has skyrocketed though. So I think ideally we need to do the bottom section before we fight the mimic. Just to get the malaise under control. That's that stuff we don't like. Snip it. Poison heals you instead of wounding you. Is there poison on this map? I, for some reason, don't think so. But to be fair... To be fair... In 20 BC, we added an invisible modifier where every time I get hit, I get poisoned. And the reason I added that was because I was afraid that the bomb damage wasn't going to scale. Um, it Trust me, it scales. So there's nothing to worry about there. See? I healed just a teeny bit. Was it worth it? No. But it is there. In case anyone needs to know. If I can land one parry, literally one parry, on the Mimic, we're gonna pop off. Literally one parry. That's it. That's all I need. Thank you. Obrigado. Um, so if I get this, I can't buy a health pot. So I don't think I do. Sick. I don't know if the poison matters, though. Like, I don't have any poison synergy. Telluric Shock, that doesn't really matter. Not a Mimic. It's a Health Pot Mimic. I can drink a Health Pot. I'll get two. All right, 20 thou. That's the chew. Oh no, it healed. Okay, I don't think I'm healing, chat. Correct me if I'm wrong, I do not believe I was healing just then. Yeah, I was gonna use the Nutcracker on the boss, but then I wanted to see, like, if I could actually get healing from the, uh, Venomous. Here's to not be the case. I wanna do Dracula, because the Death Orb is really, really good in that fight. We're gonna have a boss's last gift. Which I think is okay. Actually, Death Orb is good against Spoiler and Hand of the King, too. Crap, if I go this way, I have to go Distillery. Drag is a run killer? You tell me that after I click it? Come on! <laughs> Come on! Better run into me. Extra Death Orb value. Crap. I don't know why I thought that would actually do something. Oh, my death orb, it disappeared! Yo, the reach, though. See, that's what I expected it to do. It was like, send me down give me the iframes then i can roll and not take any damage but whatever whatever game it's fine all right boss's last gift that's a flint so i have to pick up the flint no matter what but it's a matter of are we replacing the scissors or are we replacing the ice shield i did pay good money you're right we have a little bit of bias we're keeping death orb because that's really good versus dracula the shield doesn't really do much against Dracula anyway. 
copium moment. 1,000 to reset. I'm contemplating if I have enough money to go with, like, get rich quick. It's basically $3,000. Can I get $3,000 from the mutation? Probably not. YOLO mandatory. Soldier. Because I am afraid for my life. Get rich quick. This is investment. Investment in our future. We gotta send Buster to Kitty College. The only way to do that is to somehow tax fraud ourselves through dead cells. Don't tell anybody. Wow. Look at the death orb go. I gotta remember I don't have a shield anymore. Oh, you all don't know how tempted I am to do a parry. All right, I need monsters. Yo, what's up? Wrong way, buddy. Wrong way. Crap! Get down! Oh, it jumped! Get snipped. All right, so right we don't need. We need up. All right, remember, our goal is $3,000 off of this mutation. If we get $3,000, we can send Buster to Kitty College. Oh, it's a dead end! My money's! All right. Please! Why is there an elite? Come on. We're at 1,500. Chat, we're halfway there. Halfway to making my money back. <laughs> Not even getting a profit, just to get my money back. What is he aiming at? Can someone help Dracula out? That's like me and Valorant over there. Where are you aiming at, buddy? Jeez. Crap. <laughs> my food's... I mean, my money's gonna go towards food and not Buster's College. Just bones, Cindy? Oh, no! Don't you dare! I like how they put that monster in that little cave. Makes it harder to get rid of it. Open up. Let the death orb in. If the death orb is... No, if you're cold, the death orb is cold. Let it in. Uh, does Armadillo Pack work on the bomb drop? Yes, it does. Um, I would have taken it if I had a guaranteed shield to show up. But we have no control over that, unfortunately. You animal. I was going to let that live. As you all see, I'm trying to go as fast as possible because I need money. I need a small loan of infinite dollars. An angel investor, if you will, who just believes in me and the product. Crap, I didn't get a teleport up there. We'll go this way and then try to go up as fast as possible. Crap, I lost it. No. I still have it. 3.6. I have not gotten a lot of money from this. Just to say that. So far, I'm up... Oh, I'm up $1,700? That's not bad. That's like a down payment on a freaking Honda Civic. What in the world am I looking at? Hope you're enjoying the game, by the way. If you're new to the channel, we do Dead Cells and other action roguelikes all the time. Follow the channel to get notified when we go live. You can also just search B.B on YouTube. You will find B.B Dead Cells, B.B Tier List, B.B Hades. I guess we'll fight Medusa. Because I'm going to run out of um, gas, I think. Yeah. All right. 1400. I didn't see it. Okay, this should not be bad for us. Nice. Just fight on the crusher. The deuce's head. Another scroll, random tentacle. Not a lot of monsters left. 
I'd call this one a success. I mean, knock on wood. Yeah, did we profit? Are the investors happy? <laughs> I was gonna say, are my chimps up in value? But I, I'm pretty sure they will never go up in value. <laughs> There's no such thing, V. Any value the chimp had is basically fraud. That was toxic. Oh, oh, come on. I didn't think the scissors were that slow. Like I said, we have a food shop anyway. And there's a free baguette. I love how they give me the masker first. Like, let me kill the actual thing blocking the entire map. And now I can see the monsters. That's so nice. Thank you, game. Um, better than Crusher. We will get last gifted. Um, when I first posted 20 BC on YouTube, I left a comment saying that after I kill phase one Dracula, who drops two items, should it be subjected to boss's last gift? And people pretty much said, yes, it should be. That's like the disadvantage of going this way. We have one reset. I guess I'll take armadillo pack. So it's YOLO, Armadillo Pack, and then, I don't know what, maybe Recovery? What's up right now is a potential world record. Dead Cells 20 BC on the line. Possibly the only way you can beat Dead Cells is with this build right here. Disengage? I think with 2,000, no, 26,000 HP, I'm probably better off with Recovery compared to Disengage. I think. Um, and then final mutation. I was going to just go with the armadillo pack. My last gift item, I'm probably going to get rid of the scissors. It's a hard game. It's a lot more to think about than standard dead cells when you're playing 20 BC. Have you seen anyone stream this game in super long? Yeah, we, we've been maining dead cells for, I think it's four years. I looked at my YouTube and according to YouTube we have our last uh no my first win was four years ago which is very exciting um in four years we've gone through multiple DLCs so even if you think you have four years of experience it's not against Dracula I can tell you that much unlucky but we have recovery look at that Huge. The reason I'm using the scissors is it just has massive reach. Compared to uh, the flint, which also does have good reach. Are you moving? Oh my god, you were moving. Why are you moving? Oh my god, it just took so much. Poison. Is the poison damaging me? I have poison that's supposed to heal me. On my amulet. Is that thing broken? I don't even try going into that anymore. I don't think it's worth it. Almost land the command grab on me. All right, so last gift, hand hook replaces scissors because i think flint's better like that holy water is not good in this fight almost at all whistle does 150,000 damage i just really like death orb here i think it's this is that the dove no we have to get through this part there's a world where you use a health pot here but like I have enough HP and I have recovery. I just hope the flint does real damage and we get good uh, holy waters. We're gonna have to see if holy water actually hurts him without him slamming down. I, oh my God, I'm so used to fighting EX.
I see fire. Taking it nice and easy. Gotta do anything crazy in here. Oh my god. Oh, we have YOLO. I failed to jump up. Which, like, never happens to me. I've been doing too much EX Dracula. Alright, you're on fire. Add phase. Please just die. Oh my god, did so much damage to me. I got command grabbed. All right. Oh. <laughs> After all these years, we finally win in 20 BC. We got basically two health pots i i don't know how but we finally got this done yo look at this gdq ready one hour 25 minutes world record for 20 bc you show me someone who's beaten this i dare you i'll say they're hacking so that's 20 bc um if i were to continue the series of bc climbing that means we need to actually up the BC count, which is this right here, to 21. I have no idea what it's gonna be. Um, some people have gave me suggestions on what 21 BC could do, and I have a lot of ideas, but I do have to land on one of them. Um, the next we play is not survival. Um, I think it's tactics, but I'll check the scoreboard to see what's next, but we are not allowed to play survival two times in a row. 